Alright guys, no time for an intro, we're speed running this thing. First you're going to knead a bowl, whisk together 2 cups of flour, 2 teaspoons of ground ginger, 2 teaspoons of ground cinnamon, 1 teaspoon of cloves, a quarter teaspoon of cayenne, one and a half teaspoons of baking soda, and 2 teaspoons of salt. Got that? Alright, cool. Shoot, we need the ginger. This stuff is crystallized ginger, the candied stuff is the same thing. About half a cup of that. Uh oh, we need to chop this. I don't have a good method for this, really, I don't. Super sticky stuff, just get it as fine as you can get it, doesn't really matter. Plus, I actually enjoy the chewy bits in the final product. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, okay, get them bad boys in there and whisk that up. Cool, next step. Alright, new bowl time. I'm using the bowl for a stand mixer to make things a bit easier. If you don't have a stand mixer, just use a normal bowl and get those arms ready. And here goes one and a half sticks or three quarters a cup of butter as well as half a cup of sugar. Cream that together. Add in around a quarter cup of molasses. What is this stuff? I don't know. It tastes bad too. Not recommended. You know what tastes worse though? Vanilla extract. Half a teaspoon of that thing. Did it come first? Did it come second? Well in this part it really doesn't matter because I put it in third. In goes one egg. Mix that all together until thoroughly combined. Gradually add in your dry mixture. Add, mix, add, mix. You get the idea. This probably doesn't matter, I just didn't want to risk a mess. Cleaning flour up isn't my hobby. Once it's all good and happy, wrap it up and put it in the fridge for at least 24 hours. Gives it a nice amount of time to develop its flavor. How do I know? I don't. It worked though. 24 hours later and we move on to the next step. Preheat your hot tempered lad to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius to any of my heathen viewers if you exist. Got that? Cool. Or actually hot. It's an oven. Take that dough out. See how hard it is now? I don't care. It's not sticky anymore. That's what counts, at least to me. Roll your dough into little itsy bitsy balls of dough about one and a half teaspoons in size. Or if you're an intellectual like me, half a tablespoon. It's the same thing. Just scoop it out with a measurement guy and roll it between your two hands. Yeah, just like Play-Doh. They don't have to be perfect. We're making a lot and we're squishing them together. I was able to roll out 77 of these treats. Yours might differ based on how exact your measurements are, but expect a large amount. Lots of cookies in the home for today. Rolled them all out. Good, you're doing good. Now take every single one of them and roll them into some sugar. Yes sir, that's what I like to see. Put these on a nice old baking sheet lined with parchment paper. If you don't have that epic paper, that's fine. Just spray your baking sheet or something. Time lapse time for the cookies now. Vroom, yeah. A. Okie dokie, flatten these boys. They don't seem to spread that much, so this is an essential step, according to none other than me. I also decided to put a little more sugar on the tops of the cookies, since the cup I used to flatten them stole some of the sugar. Didn't know cups were thieves, but they are. Oh. New step time? New step time. The first batch right here? Inferior. Bake them for 12 minutes. 12! Makes them softer on the inside. I don't want that. I want crispy cookies. They're called ginger snaps for a reason. 15 minutes is the premium amount of time. Who needs 12 when you can have 15? 12 minutes will just put you on the train to Sadville. 15 will take you to perfect snap city. Population cool people. I mean, if you like the 12 minutes, that's whatever. Kind of cringe though, not gonna lie. Here, just look. Underbaked cookie is on the right. It's still baked, but not baked to the perfection of 15 minutes, so that's why I'm calling it underbaked. Mmm, what a crisp snap. A ginger snap. Now look at that. Wow, cringe. Not poggers, not cool. But yeah, that's the recipe. These things are quite the treat. Nice and spicy too. Not like a jalapeno spicy. That wouldn't make any sense. It's a warm spicy. A welcoming spicy. These are some spicy boys, just like the sponsor of this video. Nobody. Ha, really think I'd have a sponsor? 